fuel pump packed up on that. So we're gonna tow it with the E90. How much do you think a breakdown would have cost you? <laughs> Don't even want to think about it. Okay, we need this. Yeah, don't. Yeah, I think from here. Okay, you did a good job of not breaking that. Tight enough, huh? So this is a four-ton tow rope, so that will be more than adequate. Hey, don't forget to put your key on, huh? <laughs> Is it tow like this? Are we into Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. You put this quite tight, so that's fine. Don't let her. Okay, so the rope is on. It's my first time towing a car, actually. So I'm going to take it very easy. Uh, it's a manual car as well, so need to be very smooth with the clutch control, the brakes, just about everything. Let's put that off for now. Let's roll down the windows so we can hear what's going on. And let's go. So the E90 is pulling 1.3 tons, just over 1.3 tons. So when it's time to get into second, you obviously want to do it very smoothly, same with the brakes when we come to a, a stop. You can be very gentle with everything. We don't need to use engine braking. And of course the person that's towing needs to keep checking his mirrors to make sure that the rope is on. I'm going to show you how the car takes off while pulling 1.3 tons. Remember this is a manual transmission car. And now we're in first gear. So obviously don't put the engine on load so don't put foot down. Gently build up speed. And just like that, keep it slow and steady. So I'm towing at a nice steady speed of uh, 70 kph. The speed limit on this road is 100. Just doing nice and steady 70. And I decided to leave it in 5th gear, not 6th. I think 6th with the would just put the engine on too much of load. So first gear, 2000 RPM, that's fine. Make sure that the tow car, or the car that's been towed is uh, within sight. And yeah, just keep it slow and steady uh, so that you will arrive at home safe and sound. So how much did BMW ox? Well, we did take in the car for a quotation and they wanted close to 7,000 Rand. Now keep in mind that the car is only worth about 60,000 Rand. So they wanted more than 10% of the car's value. Luckily, we found the aftermarket part, which was just 700 bucks. So I showed you how to drive if you are the one towing. But how should you drive or how should you control the car when you are just the dummy in the car? Um, well, firstly, obviously, if it's a manual car, put it in neutral, drop the handbrake down. Um, then you're going to put your key on so that the steering lock doesn't come on whilst you uh, are turning the, the wheel. Uh, then you're going to put your hazards on and if there is enough battery life, 
um, then you should put uh, your daytime running lights on or even your normal headlights if you can uh, and the most important thing by far is just keep an eye on that rope because that rope um, will suddenly disappear and that means you're getting closer and closer um, so keep an eye on the rope and then just get ready to hit the brakes when you when you need to uh, like for example when he goes down a hill then you're going to need to really keep an eye on that rope and get ready with the brakes same thing when he's coming to a stop or, or something like that um, but yeah just keep an eye on the rope and you'll be fine I'm not sure if you can see that can you see the rope starts to disappear so that's what I meant by the rope starts to disappear and that's where you really have to be awake because this car is rolling faster than the one in front so you really have to be awake and on the brakes and now for the big jerk